Hello everybody. Welcome back and if this is your first time a very warm welcome. Back here at the Landon, this is Mandolin. There's been a lot of work hopping off back here. And how is everybody doing? First of all, this is a little crazy. It's been hard to get this video out. The animals are all wound up and there seems to be a lot of uh combustibility if you would in the atmosphere right now so as the dogs bark I ask you to see that as just another element of nature and part of the whole message and I do apologize for it try to tune it out or embrace it whichever is better speaking of apologizing a very wise man told me that we shouldn't walk around saying I'm sorry because if you're truly sorry then you did something intentionally to cause suffering or pain or discomfort. And if you didn't do it on purpose, then it was meant to happen. So why are you apologizing for it? Chewie's laying down there. I don't know if you can see him, so you know Chewie's here. But speaking of Drew Banky, I am just so deep into this. And I will also be providing later a link where you can get it yourself when I talk about it. I'm going to jump right to the point. Today's message is very important. It is another message from the Oversoul. It came through yesterday over the course of, of the day. And it's, it's very helpful. It's something that I want to get to you as quickly as possible. Which is why I ask you to understand about the animals and everything. So I'm going to get right into it, and uh, again, this is brought down from the oversoul of what, what I've come to know as the Healers Collective. And if you are here, it does apply. They speak of the first waivers. If you're not sure what that is, that is information that was put out by Dolores Cannon. That's another resource, as it were, that I do have, is a connection with Dolores Cannon. Okay, so I'm going to get right into the message, and I will be putting the text in the description if you'd like to see the text. Healers, star seeds, first waivers, shift. Divine aspect energy is here, ready to be realized, actualized, and utilized. Whether it's from a past life experience as a deity or an energetic imprint, you have it, and it's ready to step up. You may have discovered it through a return to source, embodying the divine aspect that you are. So why God energy? We imitate our beloved creator. As the first sparks of our creation were from divine manifestation, we create the infrastructure for the evolved higher frequency cycle to come. The very air is charged with those sparks of creation. Humanity has long assigned creation to a God energy. We are creating new earth with that God energy collectively bringing the physical manifestation through divine design. Become aware of how you are instinctively functioning on a higher frequency, so your actions may also be of higher frequency. As you shift, you facilitate the shift. This is the result of a collective effort of our earth and the healer collective. In other words, our earth is part of this healer's collective. The process is speeding up. This is normal. It's this momentum that will fuel the shift. While you help prepare the way Others must move at their own pace. Interaction with them may be frustrating for you. Have compassion, as you were once there. Be careful, however, 
that this does not become an obstacle for you. Stay present in the existence of your shifting collective. Other collectives will awaken after they receive their catalyst. These catalysts may play out as disclosure, rebellion, and an overpowering need for change. There may be mass exits. Understand that this is their shift. The voices appearing will no longer be silenced. As you shift energetically at such a pace, your physical body shifts also. Your needs and desires may change and ascension symptoms may appear. These may be unique to your shifting experience. Some may be ear ringing or fluid in the ears, headaches, third eye activation, fatigue, anxiety, heightened dream states, and heightened psychic activity, possibly even ET encounters. Our reciprocal relationship with the earth brings potential for some relief. Living foods, natural remedies, nature, grounding are all great gifts of relief and connection with the earth. Connect with your guides, higher aspects, ascension team, soul family, your purpose, and creator itself. Express gratitude often. When you encounter an obstacle, remember that gratitude. If you had reason to be grateful then, you do now. And remember the animals and children are being affected also. Have compassion and use this opportunity to practice patience from a higher frequency perspective. When the powder keg of a world is exploding around you and you feel the urge to panic, find the comfort of the stillness and embrace your knowing. Okay, I hope that this message arrives at just the right moment for many of you. Again, use my comment section to connect. We need to seek the support of each other at this time. That's why we've been brought together. And to connect with each other, especially with your experiences you may have a piece of information that's useful to another and vice versa. I'm not going to make this a long one. I encourage everybody to embrace the stillness. I'm finding it very important. It helps seek the balance. And you will come through this. And I'm so excited to be doing this with you. And I thank you for taking part in my experience. And I'm just sending you so many blessings of light and truth and love. And I will see you guys on the next video. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see